by now it's no secret that Final Cut Pro for iPad is officially out in the App Store. You can download it yourself. Well, Final Cut Pro for iPad has one, well, it has a few good features, but my favorite feature is a feature that you're about to see on screen right now, and that is live drawing. Live drawing is an interesting feature because it lets you take advantage of the Apple Pencil in ways that you couldn't before. Because, okay, here's the thing. As you know, the desktop version of Final Cut Pro, you can't really use an Apple Pencil on per se. I mean, you can, but you can't. It's this whole thing. And that's because, you know, it's not designed with touch screen in mind because your typical Mac is not a touch screen. So, makes a hundred percent sense. Oh, and also, I'm sure you may have noticed, but there is a draw with finger option. You may have seen on the gameplay, and that let you do exactly what you think it lets you draw with your finger so you're not limited by not having an apple pencil do i think most people that download this app or use this app on um, their ipad pros and whatnot will have an apple pencil yes yes i do if you don't have one, feel free to check it out. Link in the description below. But yeah, because here's the thing. Final Cut Pro, as is right now, at the time of making this video, it's only available on devices that have the M1 chip or M2 chip or presumably M3, so on, whenever that comes out. But M1 and M2, and that limits it quite a bit. I think the new iPad Air got the M1 chip, but other than that, you're limited to the iPad Pro. And I feel like most people who bought the iPad Pro do definitely have the... Apple Pencil. But anyway, I digress. What you're seeing on screen right now is just it playing the render. You can render out your live drawing exactly as you see fit. And if you can render it out, then that means in theory you can also just upload it to regular Final Cut Pro. You can just, it will be a regular rendered file, in which case we'll enable you to just put it on to your desktop, which honestly is pretty cool within itself. So, I don't know if that makes it worth it price-wise, because Final Cut Pro is act for iPad is actually four ninety nine USD per month or fifty dollars USD per year. You get to choose which one you want to pay. Now I don't, like I said, I don't know if that makes it worth it. It does technically save the need to buy a plugin or, you know, edit a bunch of ways yourself or draw with the mouse and whatnot when you can actually just use either your finger or an Apple Pencil, but 
I don't know if that monthly payment will be worth it to you, but I personally like this feature. So far, this is probably one of my favorite features. I've rambled about this quite a bit though, so I'm going to end it here. Let me know comment section below what you guys think about this feature. And I'll catch you guys in the feature. Later. Mm -hmm.